BNP wants to create an unstable situation by creating clashes, says Ubaidul Kader. Sabotage will be suppressed with strict hands, comments information minister. Number of dengue patients is gradually increasing in hospitals of the capital, acute crisis of the ICU. The prices of chilies in the capital market start to decline, chicken and vegetable prices same as before. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashikus Zaman with you in the newsroom today. Watching the headlines. Now, the details. BNP wants to create an unstable environment in the country by creating clashes outside Dhaka, says Awami League General Secretary Obaidul Kader. He said that the party is conspiring to disrupt the election. He said this in the meeting of Electoral Board of Awami League in Dhanmundi today. Obaidul Kader also commented that foreigners are visiting Bangladesh in phases as our country proves itself to the other countries. During the elections in Bangladesh, the constitution will not be disturbed, says Information and Broadcasting Minister Hassan Mahmood. If anyone tries to destroy peace in the country, government will suppress, suppress it with iron hands. He said this in response to a question from reporters at the Sakit House after the special extended meeting of Kurigram District Awami League today. He also said that according to the constitution, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will perform the duties of the government during the election. Due to the publishing of foreigners' comments in media, it encourages them to talk about the internal affairs of the country, says Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin. He said this in response to questions from journalists after the award ceremony at Silet Art Academy in the afternoon. He also urged the media to play a role in boycotting the commentators on internal affairs of Bangladesh. The capital will turn into a city of youngsters centering tomorrow's rally called by Jubodol, Chatrodol and Shechashibuk Dal says Jubodol President Sultan Salahuddin Chiku. Meanwhile, Jubodol, Shechashibuk Dal and Chatrodol visited Sahurabad Udan in the capital ahead of the youth rally tomorrow. Later in a press conference at Noyapolton BNP party office, Tuku expressed hope that there will be a bigger gathering of youth than before. The number of dengue patients is gradually increasing in the capital and there is an acute crisis of the ICU. Even after that, many people got infected with dengue disease and stayed on the hospital floor to save their lives. Doctors say there is no substitute for awareness in eradicating this disease. However, doctors suggest being more socially conscious to get rid of the situation. The price of chili has started to decrease in the market of the capital, but price of cumin and cashnut is on the rise. Raw chilies are being sold at Taka 170 to Taka 220 per kg. Traders said that due to the sufficient import from India, the prices have come down. However, none of the price of any product has increased. The prices of chicken and vegetables are on the same as before. Viewers were taking a short break. When we're coming back, Ukraine has begun using US cluster bombs against Russia, attacking defensive positions. Shakib Al Hassan and Leighton Dash will face each other tonight in the Global T20 League in Canada. Welcome back, you're watching My TV English News. 
Ten people were injured in clashes between two groups over control of Borishal Nathullabad bus terminal. Aftab Hussain, former president of Mohanagur Sramik League and president of Bus Owners Group, and his followers joined the movement following the announcement of committees in the morning. The leaders of district road transport bus, minibus, coach, microbus, Sramik Union protested for six points including fresh elections the conflict started between the two groups the workers called for a bus strike later after the road blockade was lifted with the assurance of fair trial of the incident the bus service started now international news Ukraine has started using U.S. cluster bombs against Russia. The United States has confirmed this information. Although these bombs are banned in hundreds of countries around the world, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened to use cluster bombs in Ukraine if Kyiv uses such weapons provided by the United States. According to a BBC report, the White House has confirmed that Ukraine is using U.S.-supplied cluster bombs against the Russian military in the country. National Security Spokesman John Kirby said the U.S. cluster bombs were being used effectively in Russian defensive positions and operations. The United States has imposed a visa ban on 39 more people from four Central American countries for their involvement in corruption and obstruction of democratic process. On Wednesday, the U.S. State Department's website revealed the identity of those people who are subject to new visa restrictions. The four Central American countries are El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras and Nicaragua. The U.S. State Department says any visa already in their name will be immediately revoked and any other valid visas or entry documents will be cancelled. The ban was imposed on 13 people from Nicaragua, 10 from Guatemala, 10 from Honduras and 6 from El Salvador, according to the report. We're about to the end the headlines once again. BNP wants to create an unstable situation by creating clashes, says Obaidul Kader. Sabotage will be suppressed with strict hands, comment information minister. The number of dengue patients is gradually increasing in the capital of the cap. Acute crisis of ICU. Prices of chilies in the capital market start to decline. Chicken and vegetable prices same as before. Ukraine has begun using U.S. cluster bombs against Russia, attacking defensive positions. Shakib Al Hassan and Leighton Dash will face each other tonight in the Global T20 League in Canada. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old programs, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.